Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for pressing play wherever you are in the world today. My name's Lee Axon, and funny enough, I am Digifin. Ha! You didn't know I'm gonna say that, did you? That's what you always say. I do. Everybody keeps waiting for you to work it in. It's kind of like your calling card. Um, welcome to April 2nd, beautiful Sunday morning outside. The video you're about to see the edit for, I shot on the 16th of January for LinkedIn for Business. It's part of 12 videos. If you'd like to see them all in their finished entirety, pop over to their YouTube channel. Uh, the real-time edit that you're about to see, um, I completed at the end of January 2023. The video that you're about to see me edit took 51 minutes and I went extra hard on that to get it done as quick as possible. I wouldn't normally go as hard as that. Uh, the actual finished edit of what you're going to see it took me probably about another 20, 30 minutes as I tinkered on. I didn't think it was fair to keep that running on the camera. Um, I produce these videos because I am super transparent and I want you as an editor or a future editor to understand some of the challenges that go ahead with making a short um, video. But also it's very important that my current customers or future customers, in particular the marketing departments, understand how I'm using my time as well as spending your budget. I could easily do what the other media companies do and just pluck random figures out of thin air and say that's how much it's going to cost. That is unfair to you and it's unfair to me. So, if you would like to sit back for four and a bit minutes, this is the video that you're about to see. Welcome back to How To Coffee. I'm gonna show you how to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem simple, but there's a few key points that we need to be aware of. First and foremost, we need to make sure that we've just got one filter paper. Sometimes these can be quite tricky to separate. So please ensure that there's just one, no more. This is, this is because we need the water to flow through properly. If we've got any more than one filter paper, it won't. We get the brewing pan, let's put the filter paper directly in the middle and make sure that the sides are stuck to the side of the filter pan, as so. We've packed our filter coffee in pre-ground sachets, 56.7 grams to be exact. The reason being, this amount of coffee to one liter of water is the Special E Coffee Association recommended brew recipe. So with that in mind, we've got a coffee. We need to make sure that we're only putting one liter of water through it, which is to the number 10 on your jug, okay? 10 means a thousand mils, which equals one liter. So we've got a coffee. We've got a cold, fresh water, one liter of. Let's get this coffee into the filter pan as so. Just like your espresso in your filter basket, once you've put your coffee into your brew pan, we need to give this a bit of a tap. We need a nice, even extraction. We want that water flowing through the coffee at an even rate. So we've tapped, we're gonna put the pan into the insert, pour your one liter of cold, fresh water, into the top. Let's get the jug onto the bottom and start catching the brew come through. Now this process of the brewing should take around five minutes. We really recommend you get a timer on these brews. Once this is brewed, this can sit no longer than around 40 minutes. The reason being, this is sitting on hot pans. The hot pans are evaporating this filter coffee. So anything past 40 minutes, the brew is going to taste nowhere near as good as it should. If it's evaporating, it's going to make the coffee stale, syrupy and thick. Nowhere near as fresh and tasty as it should. So key points, one filter paper, one litre of water, your individually packed filter coffee. Tap your pan of coffee in before you insert. 
to even out the bed and it should be sitting for no longer than 40 minutes on the filter coffee machine. A key point in this brewing process is we've got to let it brew fully. If you're in a rush and you quickly need a cup of coffee, you can't just take this out and catch some under a cup. When coffee is brewed, there's the beginning process of the brew, which is your sour acidic notes. In the middle process of your brew, you've got your caramels and your sweetness. In the end part of your brew, you've got the bitterness that you do need in a well-rounded cup of coffee. If we're taking a cup of coffee in the middle of that process, you're just gonna get the caramels and the sweetness, none of the acidity or the, or the bit of bitterness that you do need. If you just get a cup at the end, you're just gonna get bitterness. So please do a full brew before we pour any cup. Also, a lovely little tip before pouring any cup is give the jug a good swirl. This mixes all of those flavors together so you've got a well-rounded, lovely tasting cup of coffee. That's how you make perfect filter coffee. So we've got a lovely brewed jug of filter coffee here. Before I pour any of this, I'm gonna give it a bit of a swirl to incorporate all of those delicious flavors. Have a taste of this. Delicious. So welcome back, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit about that particular video. That video there is a 99% finished version. The 100% finished version is on Rinton's um, YouTube channel. And what I was waiting for on that video to be fully complete, which I explain at the end of the video, is that I was waiting for some graphic assets to come from Rinton's. They wanted some specific slides put onto the screen. So at the very end there where it's a, a black screen with white writing, etc., that is now beautiful graphics. But again, pop onto YouTube and you can see it. So let's get onto this video. And um, if you do stick with it, I hope you learned something. There's two really good parts in it, which were quite challenging to overcome. And then I'll see you at the very end of the video where I've got a little bit more information for you, which I think is quite important. So. Get yourself a Prosecco, a coffee, a cup of tea, a biscuit, some popcorn, and dive right in. Let's hit start, and let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is bring the videos into the timeline. So here we have uh, videos already completed for Rington's. That is the one I'm just finishing off. That's actually number 13, to be fair, but uh, I felt like doing this today, so jumping the gun a little bit. So, <clears throat> where are we? Uh, we're in Rinkman's training videos, 24 to 70, so I need to get this first shot. So we pull this across, and there is the handsome man himself, Sam Quillian, and uh, this is the master shot. So if we just scrub through this, this is the full process. Now, what we need to do quickly is just colour correct this because we're going for a certain look. So we want this a little bit warmer. Um, we're going to give them a little bit of a suntan. I'm going to place the barley lut over the top of them. And uh, on your screen now, that might look quite bright. When, when it's rendered out, it's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. So let's see where our start point is. And we have to look at this from the beginning because this is a real-time edit. This is how it would actually happen. And it is happening. I've, I've not even viewed this since I recorded it. We go for, uh, what's it, Marco Jet 45? So he's going to look, we're looking for his clap. He's, there's his clap. Welcome back to How To Coffee. I'm going to show you today how to brew perfect filter coffee. It may seem easy, but there's actually a few points that we need to take. Oh. Welcome back to How To Coffee. I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem easy, but there are... Take three. Take three, okay. Welcome back to How To Coffee. I think it went to, to take you four. How to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem simple. It may seem simple. Sam, come on, you're getting tired now. Let's yeah, see. this is the last one. Yeah, no worries. Welcome back to How To Coffee. Today, I'm going to show you, not today, we've already said today a million times. <laughs> Welcome back to How To Coffee. 
I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem... Okay, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> well... Take five. Okay, so now what we need to do is go and get the other footage, which is the 85 footage. Uh, where is it? Is that it? No. That is the grind I want. Okay, so what we do is we layer the footage over the top. Now if we look at this bottom track here, where the mouse is flying around, um, when I shoot on the second camera, I place um, a Rode video mic on the top so I can pick up the audio if I wanted to sync it that way. But the preferred way that I have doing it is simply from a lip sync match. So that is a backup audio track as well should the other mic fail. So we can eliminate that. Now he's zoomed in massively because I'm on a 1080p timeline and he's shot in 4K, so automatically it pulls the 4K footage across in that resolution. So we've got to scale the frame size. And now I want a colour match. So I'm just going to warm him up. I don't need to hit the auto button on this one because I'm shooting at wide open 1.4, so there's more light on the actual uh, image. And it'll just blast out. Uh, that might sound complex, but I know what I'm talking about. So if we... If we just, um, oh, wrong one. If we turn that one on and off, it's quite similar. Um, we can bring that down a touch. And that is enough for them to, to color match. Okay, so we need to find where he was going from. So I'll go at the beginning. Ma. I need to find his, his clap, don't I? His first clap. And match that up. There we go. Okay. And then we'll go to his first clap on here. Which is pretty much like that. Welcome back. Wasn't too bad. That's um, moving up a bit. To how to cop. Wrong way. Coffee. I'm going to show you to. Okay. Well. Welcome back to how. Welcome back. Welcome back. Nearly there. Back to how to coffee. I'm going to show you today how to brew perfect filter coffee. Looking good, boy. Okay, so let's start to trim this up and we get to where we want to be. So it's take five, wasn't it? It may seem simple, but there's a... So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this top track off for the time being and go back to where he clapped so I know where we are. Yeah, because it was tight, wasn't it? He clapped and he spoke straight away. Okay, look. <clears throat> so what I'll be doing, as you see, I'll just be flipping between the tracks um, and see what we use. And what we can't use, so I'll switch that track back on. Welcome and this will be the main one that I'll be looking through. I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem simple, but there's a few key points that we need to be aware of. First and foremost, we need to make sure that we've just got one filter piece. See, I'll chop that out because you don't First want to see me moving about. So all the stuff where I'm moving about, I'll chop out. And then if I want to crop back in... You see from like this. To separate. So please ensure that there's just one, no more. This, this is because... The reason I shoot like this, not on all projects, but it's just trying to be dynamic. You know, some of these videos are two and a half minutes, some of them are eight and nine minutes and a bit longer. You don't just want one shot. But then again, it comes down to what's your budget. Because I can offer that. This takes longer than just editing one shot. I can edit one shot in probably a third of the time. But how interesting it is, how much more interesting it is, sorry, 
for the customer or the viewer to see a couple of different shots. So this is why I shoot this way. So let's have a look. So if you see there, it jumps, you see. It jumps out of focus. Because I'm not using this entire shot all the time. I'm just going through this. I'm scrubbing through this. Now it's um, lined up uh, audio-wise to see what I might use and what I might not use. So we just cut it out of the way. Let's see what happens there. Individual packets of 56.7 grams. Now you see how I moved there. I wouldn't use that, that's unprofessional. Packets of so quite happy so to listen to him picking that up. We've packed our filter coffee and individual. And it, it jumps out of focus a touch there. So I'll probably move off that, jump off that, go back to where he's in focus. The good thing about these particular cameras is the eye track. As soon as you put it on a face, boom, it's focused. Seven graphs. Yep. 6.7 grams. Yep. Filter coffee. An individual. So. We've packed. 6.7 grams. Yep. We have packed our. So I'm asking them to do that a little bit again. I'm not sure so. why. I can't remember. <clears throat> so I'll cut that there. See, I'm cutting as I go. We've packed our. 6.7 grams. Yep. And when I come back to this properly, you see, because this is just the initial scrub edit, I'll figure out how to stitch that together better. So, we have packed our filthy coffee pre ground sachet. And I use these, by the way, they're absolutely delicious. Highly recommended them. I picked up a new box this morning from uh, Stephen. Tremendous. <coughs> We have packed our filter coffee in pre-ground sachets. 56.7 grams to be exact. The coffee in pre-ground sachets. Just kind of get that word, can he? Marble mouth. That looks good. It's nice and in focus, isn't it? So all I'm doing here is just running through initially, scrubbing down, seeing what I want to use, and then I need to watch it all. And you're, <laughs> and you're going to watch it as well, but you might end up fast-forwarding it. ...to water through it, which is to the number 10 on your jug, okay? 10 means 1,000 mils, which equals 1 litre. Oh, I love a maths lesson. Old fresh water. Shortcuts. You really need to, learn, need to learn shortcuts when you're editing. C and V. C is cut. V is uh, back to normal. Back to your blue pan. Well, I've been using the mouse all the time. Right, you see, that was one cut. Coffee. So we'll cut there. Yes, I did just use the W word. I've just realised. Don't care. Don't care. <clears throat> right, so you can see here there's a bit of a gap, so something's going to happen here. I'm not sure what that is. We'll For your out. one litre of cold, fresh water. Into the top. Just him doing stuff. That's a nice shot, isn't it? Look at that. Pure sex. E. So pure sexy. Into the top. Go on, lad. See, what I'll do there, when it's the video, I'll just put the music up a little bit. Because I don't like cutting these as much as possible. I like, them, I like the videos to be in real time as well. So the customer's actually seeing what is get going the on. These are training now, videos. Let's get the jug. You know, I want them to see the full process. How many times do you see videos in that and it's skipped, it's speeded up and it's got on the bottom, um, the process was speeded up for, I don't know, video usage or whatever. Um, I want people to see it really happening. That's a good shot, isn't it? 
amazing lens. Best lens I've got, Sigma 1.4 85. Um, one of the lenses which I use um, with wedding photography. Uh, it's just a dream lens, that and the 35 1.4. The, the brewing should take around five minutes. The, of the brewing should take around five. Just looking at these shots, thinking, are they worth it? You know, and I have actually got some pickup shots, uh, which I shot separately for particular close-ups because as I seen shots happening, I thought, uh, I, you know, I missed the focus on that. I didn't get there quick enough. I'll come back and get it. Um. Built the coffee. So you can see we've got a lot of gap there. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's okay. I'm not making fast and the furious. That's how you make perfect filter coffee. Now then. What have we got going on here? I'm going to switch this camera line off and see what's going uh, on. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll have to tell you, okay. A key point in this brewing process is we... Oh yeah, great, 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 great. So he's got his colleague, which is Caitlin, uh, who have, have been doing the videos with as well. Caitlin has now pointed out you didn't say something that you needed to say. I've got some other stuff to say, sorry. In amongst. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll have to tell you, okay. Great, well, it seems like we have a difficult edit here. <laughs> the key point in this brewing process is we've got to let it brew fully. If you're in a rush and you quickly need a cup of coffee, you can't just take this out and catch them under a cup. When coffee is brewed, there's the beginning process of the brew, which is your sour acidic notes. In the middle process of your brew, you've got your caramels and your sweetness. In the end part of your brew, you've got the bitterness that you do need, need in a well-rounded cup of coffee. If we're taking a cup of coffee in the middle of that process, you're just going to get the caramels and the sweetness, none of the acidity or the, or the bit of bitterness that you do need. If you just get a cup at the end, you're just going to get bitterness. So please do a full brew before we pour any cup. Also, a lovely little tip before pouring any cup is give the jug a good swirl. This mixes all of those flavors together so you've got a well-rounded, lovely tasting cup of coffee. What are we talk. <clears throat> what else are you chatting about here, Bonnie lad? Yep. That was perfect, yep. Yeah, I'm just going to do like, so now we've got a full brew. Oh, I thought that was the end. Yeah, it kind of was, but maybe I'm just going to add another bit you might be able to add. Yeah, we'll come back. Cool. Great, because I'm a miracle worker. I'll just wait till it's completely finished. I'll also, yeah, I've got a couple things to say. Oh, just add them in, son. Get them added in. Handsome. So we've got a lovely... Okay, so we can cut down. So I know we don't need any of this. So, so where's he went from? Cup of coffee. So we've got a lovely jug of filter coffee here. I would love to have a taste of this. Before I'm doing it, I'm gonna give it a good swirl to incorporate all of those lovely flavors. You will notice the end jug of coffee is that. So you can see me there. So if I just pop in and see what I'm looking at. To below the 10 mark, that's because there's some water retention in the bed of coffee. So don't be concerned. But what I can do is, you see, all I'll do is I'll just uh, scale in a little bit and I'll scale myself out when I decide what I'm doing. So don't be concerned by that. What does that look like? Lovely stuff. Okay, 
So we've got a lovely... Right. So we need to get rid of that. Because he's... So we've got... So he's realised he's missed something again. Never work with children and animals. Now, I haven't got this top bit here on the 85. I don't know why I haven't got it. Who cares? And lovely. So we've got a lovely brewed jug of filter coffee here. Before I pour any of this, I'm going to give it a bit of a swirl to incorporate all those delicious flavors. Have a taste of this. Delicious. Marvelous. Right, we've got something here. What's he say? Uh, <laughs> nice, says Guy in the background. Nice. Okay, we've got to go back to the beginning now. And we've got to see how it all fits together. Because it was all over the shop, wasn't it? This is the process. We're in 19 minutes. Welcome back to How to Coffee. Now, I wouldn't open it that. I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem simple, but there's a few key points that we need to be aware of. First and foremost, we need to make sure that we've just got one filter paper. Sometimes this can be quite tricky to separate. So please ensure that there's just one, no more. This is, this is because we need the water to flow through properly. If we've got any more than one filter paper, it won't. We get the brewing pan. Let's put the filter paper directly in the middle and make sure the sides are stuck to the side of the filter pan, as so. We have packed our filter coffee. Right, so do you remember, this was the bit where he did it a couple of times and we've got to try and get this together. This is where the fun begins. And, and make it as smooth as possible. So let's just move this along and see if we can line it up more. By the way, if you can hear any jingle bells, it's these dogs running around like they've got nothing better to do. We have right. So let's just open it up a bit. We have packed up. So he's holding it. Let's see if we can match it. Okay, watch. Let's see. We have packed it. So the problem we've got is the eye line. the angle so let's have a look so we have packed our filter it actually happens fast enough see if I turn this one off it'll look dodgy watch we have packed see it move there watch see his head move but this is another benefit of using a second camera that it just looks like, it, it's, it's sort of, it's hard to say. The cut, it's, it's like an optical illusion on your head, on your brain. It's like you sort of accept that that wasn't actually there. I need to go back and see what happens when he does this again. We've popped. Pack, we've packed up. I wonder. We've packed, we've... We've packed. Oh. 
Right, hold on. I might be able to do a miracle here. <clears throat> we pack our filter coffee. Uh -huh. Right. This is why I get paid the big two bananas an hour. We've packed our filthy. Pack. It's the hour bit, that's what I need. I think it's going to be okay. We've packed our filthy coffee. Boom! <laughs> yes, lad. Yes, lad. Watch this again. We've packed our filthy coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can improve that one bit more as well. If you look there at his eyes, I think he's like, looks like he's in train spotting. Uh, so that was two frames I clicked along. That might be enough to open his eyes up. It does, watch. We've packed our filter cup. Yeah, we just go with that. He's in a slightly different position. Actually, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to what it was, because I think it was better. We've packed our filthy coffee. Yeah. His eyes are semi-closed there, but it's such a quick frame, you can't see it. I'm happy with that. We've packed our filthy coffee in pre-ground sachets. We've packed our filthy coffee. There we go. Okay, happy days. Let's move on. We'll be here all day. Pre-ground sachets. 56.7 grams to be exact. The reason being is because this amount of coffee to one litre of coffee. Ah. The reason being. Right, okay. So this is where I'll show you a jump cut. The reason being 56.7 grams to be exact. Cut. The reason being is because this amount of coffee to one litre of coffee. Ah, the reason. Mm, this may be tricky. The reason being 56.7 grams to be exact. The reason being. Right, so we've got to try and fix this head move. It's wrong. Let's see what happens on the 85. What did the 85 do? The reason being. Yes, lad. The reason being. 0.7 grams to be exact. So if we look in here, if I zoom right in, this section here is just dead. It's dead noise, it's dead movement. Move it out, close it up. It should be. The reason. It should be enough. It should work. Ounce of sachets. 56.7 grams to be exact. The reason being, this amount Works. of coffee to one litre of water is the speciality coffee associate. And you see I've got a movement there. It was enough, but now I can come off that. And go back to 24 to 70. So it's a bit of a cut up, but. 6.7 grams to be exact. The reason being, this amount of. This amount of coffee. Exact. The reason being, this amount of coffee to one litre of water is the speciality coffee association. So I don't need that. I can just take it off. Exact. The reason being, this amount of coffee to one litre of water is the speciality coffee association recommended through recipe. 
So with that in mind, we've got a coffee. We need to make sure that we're only putting one litre of water through it, which is to the number 10 on your jug. Okay? 10 means 1,000 mils. Now I'm just going to quickly go on to my folders here because I've got a pickup folder where I had to shoot with Caitlin some extra stuff um, because Sam wasn't available to shoot these stuff. So it's, I know it doesn't make sense, but this is what it is. Um, he unfortunately had a bit of an emergency and the pickups I had to do with, were with Caitlin. see what we've got here uh, and the things I might use I might not anyway crack on <clears throat> equals one liter so we've got a coffee we've got a cold fresh water one liter of let's get this coffee into the filter pan as so just like your espresso in your filter basket once you've put your coffee into your blue pan, you need to give this a bit of a tap. We need a nice, even extraction. We want that water flowing through the coffee at an even rate. So we tap, we're going to put the pan. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to change the contrast and touch. What's one there? 3.3. Yeah, that's better. I'm going to change that. that go a little bit longer actually I've decided while I was this sitting here coffee. I don't mind that movement it's realistic water. again I'm happy with it it didn't make sense through. it just being on for like two seconds and what I try and do you see is use the second image to give you a visual um, I suppose close up of the narrative. So when he's talking about the water, he's talking about the bag, I try and focus into that. Just like your espresso in your filter basket, once you've put your coffee into your blue pan. And I'm just gonna just for a second, I don't it's only gonna take a moment. Uh, back to you. The reason I like to shoot this way, I'm not the inventor of this, it's just a style I like. I like the single position camera. It adds that professional professionalism and that staticness. But I like you as a customer, or I like you as a viewer, to feel like you're there. So this is why I have the mobile camera, the second camera, that's totally handheld, it's not on a gimbal or nothing like that. So you feel like you're there. It's a bit more like um, it's a bit more emotional, a bit closer. You're connected more with the environment um, rather than just being one static shot, and, and that's it. And I can move around. Then it's completely dynamic. The thing is with the 85 lens, of which I'm using on the 35, it's not a zoom lens. So to get closer or further away, I have to move. So all the shots are different. They're just much more interesting, much more interesting. I feel, it's my opinion, that's why I do it. Nice now you know. We want that water flowing through the coffee. And then We're on 31 minutes. So we tap, we're going to put the pan into the insert. Pour your one litre of cold, fresh water. Cherry Coke's on real. Cherry Pepsi. Nobody drinks Coke top. anymore. <clears throat> and let's get the pan, get the 
jug? No. Let's get the jug. Oh, goodness sakes. And let's get the pan. Gonna have a word with this boy. Get the jug. And let's get. And let's. So we need the andlets. Jug. Oh Lord. <clears throat> and let's get the jug. Oh goodness. Okay, so it's not possible to fix that. So what we do is we just let it run because he's human and you make mistakes in. And, and these videos, remember, they're meant to be sort of real time. We all make mistakes. I've made mistakes in this video. And let's get the pan, get the jug. Now, let's get the jug. Oh, goodness. Spoke too soon, didn't I? Let's get the jug. I'll tell you what I might do. I might just drop the audio back. A little bit. I don't know why I emphasised the word back there. That was just absolutely nuts. Let's get the jug. Oh, no. Get the pan. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> I hope you're watching what's going on here. So move that audio across. <clears throat> Pan. Get the jug. Now, let's get. Come look at this. How am I going to do this? And let's. Hannibal Smith job here. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So now I might move that back over and I'm going to uplift the music there anyway, I think. And let's get the pan. And let's, let's get the <laughs> Okay. What we got, what we got, what we got. And let's get the pan. And let's. I don't need that bit. But I want to um, make sure we don't lose any sound, so I will just duplicate that bit there. Because it's the bubbling. And let's, let's get the jug. Actually, I might get rid of that as well because he says, and let's get the jug. Get the jug onto the box. That works. That works. You'll never know. You know. The audience will never know. Where is. Let's see what that looks like. Because that's where his hand is. Um, that's where his hand is. Put his hands up there so that makes them work. Let's get the jug. Mm. Oh, hold on. Let's get the jug. Yes, look at that. There we go. This is why I'm on two bananas an hour. A litre of cold, fresh water. Into the top. Get 
get the jug onto the bottom and start catching the real kung fu. Into the top. Let's get the jug onto the bottom and start catching the brew come through. Now this process of the, of the brewing should take around five minutes. We really recommend you get a timer on these brews. Once this is brewed, this can sit no longer than around 40 minutes. The reason being, this is sitting on the hot pans. The hot pans are evaporating this filter coffee. So anything past 40 minutes, the brew is going to taste nowhere near as good as it should. What are we doing? Evaporating. What are we doing? <coughs> the brew is going to taste nowhere near as good as it should. What are we doing? What are we doing? Evaporating. All we're going to do is just scale in a touch so it looks a bit more sort of natural. Good as it should. What are we doing if we're... Boom, 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 boom. Just move it along a little bit. I've just got this thing about people being in the middle. <laughs> Much the as possible. Is taste nowhere near as good as it should. What are we doing if we evaporate this coffee? It's going to be making it look syrupy and thick, not very fresh, and quite. Don't, boy. If it's evaporating, what are we doing if we evaporate this coffee? I'm going to have a word with this boy. As it should. If it's evaporating, it's going to make the coffee stale, syrupy, and thick. Nowhere near as fresh and tasty as it should. So key points, one filter paper, one litre of water, your individually packed filter coffee, tap your pan of coffee in before you insert to even out the bed, and it should be sitting for no longer than 40 minutes on the filter coffee machine. That's how you make perfect filter coffee. Great. Oh yeah, great, 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 great. I've got some other stuff to say, sorry. Brilliant. In amongst. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll have to tell you. Okay. See, uh, what's not gonna happen here? What's not gonna work? Key point. Oh, is it? Hold on. Yeah, it's still brewing. And it should be sitting for no longer than 40 minutes on the filter coffee machine. Right, I'm going to cut this bit out here because that's where the, he says, that's where you make perfect filter coffee. And we just move that around. Find this bit. This is a key point. A key. There we go. <coughs> The key point in this brewing process is we've got Oh no, hold on, sorry. Cancel what you're doing. Clown. There we go. On the filter coffee machine. The key point in this brewing process is we've got to let it brew fully. If you're in a rush and you quickly need a cup of coffee. You can't just fully. If you're in a rush, it on the filter coffee machine. The key point in this brewing process is we've got to let it brew fully. If you're in a rush and you quickly need a cup of coffee, you can't just take this out and catch some under a cup. When coffee's brew, there's Oh. The beginning process of the brew, which is your sour. I don't know why I thought getting his hands moving would be good. <laughs> Just in the middle of the time, Catch in the middle of the shoot. Not. When coffee's brew, get his boy's hands. There's the beginning process of the brew, which is your sour acidic note. 
in the middle process of your brew, you've got your caramel and your sweetness. In the end part of your brew, you've got the bitterness that you do need, need in a well-rounded cup of coffee. If we take a... <coughs> in a well-rounded cup of coffee. He's a handsome lad, mind. Is our Sam. In a well-rounded cup of coffee. If we're taking a cup of coffee in the middle of that process, you're just going to get the caramels and the sweetness, none of the acidity or the, or the bit of bitterness that you do need. If you just get a cup at the end, you're just going to get bitterness. So please do a full brew before we pour any cup. Also, a lovely little tip before pouring any cup is give the jug a good swirl. I might have a swirl, but it might be Caitlin swirling. No, it was a pour. I know where I'm going to put that. This mixes all of those flavours together, so you've got a well-rounded, lovely tasting cup of coffee. So we've got a lovely brewed jug of filter coffee here. Flavours. Have a taste of this. That's how you make perfect filter coffee. Tasty. So... Out with that. Lovely tasting cup of coffee. So if I click off here and move this along, move that to there. See what happens here. Lovely tasting cup of coffee. That's how you make perfect so you see this gap here this is just dead audio he's you know haven't said anything yet um, so I can get rid of all this and trim it up okay <clears throat> Cut to that. Tasting cup. Here we go. Lovely tasting cup of coffee. That's how you make perfect filter coffee. <sighs> I need to put my rate up. Well I want three bananas now. Tasting cup of coffee. That's how you make perfect filter coffee. Right, then see what this bit is. I don't know if I want to use it. So we've got a lovely brewed jug of filler. Yeah, I'll use it. So we've got a lovely brood. And this is where I would use, and I've been using page peels, for example, to keep the continuity up on this video, because you, you kind of shoot every single thing in real time. So if you watch this, it will make sense. Coffee. So we've got a lovely brood jug of filter coffee here. Natural. Before I pour any of this, I'm going to give it a bit of a swirl to incorporate all those delicious flavours. Have a taste of this. Delicious. Oh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Save. Alt S. Command S, even. Alt S if you're on a crappy Windows machine. Right, so uh, that's 46 minutes so far. We've got a lot of work to do yet. Let's, um, let's get on to it. So <clears throat> I'm going to start putting together all this other stuff. Um, so let's go and grab the intro. <clears throat> and we'll fix the intro up and we'll start to make it look like a real video. That's Caitlin. She's from California. There's a terrible accent. That I just tried there, not, not Caitlin. Caitlin's is beautiful. Okay, so we move this into position because these are things I've already done, you see, and that's what's important. Uh, this is where we save time. Once you've done some of these things once, you just replicate them across. Um, so I've popped that on top there so I can get the exact measurement. So we colour this up. Get 
give me one second because there we go. Sweet. Will I reach to here? I want to put the heating on. <clears throat> there we go. Boom. Right, how to coffee, Rington's how to coffee. And this is just called filter coffee. Perfect filter. Guy and his team might ask me to change it. I just set these up as placeholders and then we make those adjustments when we're done. Okay, good. So, this is just a hard transition watch. Welcome back. Awful. Welcome back. Awful. So what we use is, I use a blur dissolve on this project and watch. Welcome back. Sexy. Right, let's get the music across. <clears throat> is this one house now something that you'll see is this music track doesn't fit the video track and uh, it was a great update from Adobe last year and I can extend this out with AI so remix tool for as long as I want which is probably that length so clip analysis <coughs> And it's now changed the length of it. Booyakasha. So let's see where we start. So it's super loud to start with, but we bring it down a few, a few notches. And now we'll pop a little transition in, bring, bring that down. It's usually on around sort of tw about 29, that should do as a starting point. Audio transactions, crossfade, constant power, and it goes like this. And it goes a little something like this. Welcome back to How to Coffee. I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect filter coffee. It may seem simple, but there's a few key points that we need to be aware of. All right, Sam, let's go to the middle and see if I need to zoom up. Yeah. Let's get the jug. Okay, so. Into the top. So I'm just gonna pop a little musical increase here. And then bring it back down. It was 29, wasn't it? Get the jug onto the bottom and start catching the brew comes through. Now this process of the, of the brewing can take around. Okay, cool. So the next thing that we need to do is just to placehold the floating logos and rotating logos actually. So I will grab this amount, I think initially, copy them across. love to get this under an hour. Let's have a look. It's got a fade in at the right point. I'm going to lift that up a little bit. I'll go. Yeah, so you see the Rinkins logo fades in at the same time. need to copy these across and what you'll see watch the bottom right hand side of the video uh, of, of Sam sometimes these can see we've got those spinning the side and, and when I've got the final renders from Guy and his team uh, ready to make any final adjustments um, which I'll explain to you in a moment I'll set those so they're exact times um, so I need to go back across here, I need that one, that one, that one, okay. A lot of what you're hearing is me talking to myself, 
I wouldn't sweat it. And I need that. And I need a blur dissolve on that. And I need that. So I just, easy just to copy it, bring it across, move it to there. So what these are, are these, there's going to be, you know, a number of uh, tips on each video. And uh, we don't know what they are yet. Guy and his team's going to tell me what they are. But they will slide in from the left if you watch the video. It may seem simple. And they're on for four seconds. That we need to be aware of. First and foremost, we need to make sure. And they'll go all the way uh, to the end. To which all the tips will come up in one go. And then what happens is the logo flies off the end. Cool. So we just extend that out. So it goes from the horse and cart to the Rinkins logo. They all do the same. They all stay at the Rinkins logo at the end, and then they fly up to the end. We're at the end here, so we've got to raise the music up. Yes. Delicious. Delicious. And the music lifts up. Boom, there we go. So, um, yeah, right. <clears throat> I think I'll stop it there. We're at 54 minutes, we're at 55 minutes pretty much. So welcome back. I hope you got something out of that if you did manage to stay at the very end. As I said on the video, that's not the finished version. If you'd like to see the finished version, please pop on to Rington's YouTube channel. So that was sort of, was it nearly five minutes, I think? And took 51 minutes of real time edit, but probably about an hour and a half in total. And that's just for a short video there with two cameras. One's totally positioned on a tripod and one's moving round. Nothing really more, quite a simple video. And out of all the 12 videos, that was probably one of the simplest ones to edit, which is why I chose that one. If you'd like to see something a bit more complex, um, a recent video I've done for my friends at the In Collection Group, the Chef Academy with Chef Matthew Benson-Smith, uh, you can see that on my website. That was far more complex and that was a 10 hour edit. If you'd like to see something even more longer in its length, then if you pop on to the GTR Heritage Center 2023 comeback video, that is an 18 hour edit. If you'd like to see something even more advanced, if you pop onto my Rockcliffe Hall wedding video, which I did last year, that is a 26 hour edit. And then if you'd like to see what I regard as my greatest project ever, pop onto my Bramble Down video, that is a 35 hour edit. So, all depending on the complexity and the shots, and everything like that goes into how long the, um, the edit takes. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you'd like to know a little bit more about me and about how I price, etc., please pop onto my website. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, if you're watching this on Instagram, please, if you feel it appropriate, tag somebody in, shout them out. They might be interested in this. Um, I do love doing what I do for a living. If you have any questions, please just pop them in the comments or send them to me direct and I'll be happy to produce another video like this in the future um, as long as you're interested in seeing them. So without further ado, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>